Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you turning Sahara into oasis. The Sahara is the largest desert in the world, filling nearly all of Northern Africa. It measures approximately 3,000 miles. The Sahara is bordered in the west by the Atlantic Ocean, in the north by the Atlas Mountains and the Mediterranean Sea, in the east by the Red Sea and in the south by the Sahel. The Sahara forms a transitional zone between the Sahara to the north and the belt of the humid savannas to the south. However, the country, Niger in the African Sahara region has been making some astonishing agricultural developments, turning large areas suffering from desertification into agricultural fields in Niger. 5 million hectares of land with over 200 million trees have been restored. With 2.5 million people benefiting from the improved use of land. This transformation can be, quote, a major accomplishment for any country, especially when a country only receives an average of 6.5 inches of rainfall a year. In this video, we're going to tell you how and why Niger is turning its deserts into huge farmlands so stick with us and let's dove into today's video Niger, which is officially a republic, is a landlocked country in West Africa named after the Niger River over 80% of its land area lies in the Sahara Desert. Those trying to grow crops in the Sahel region are often faced with poor soil, erratic rainfall and long periods of drought. Farmers face significant tree losses in the 1970s and 80s as a result of drought. The expansion of cropland and human pressure because few trees remained on the fields, farmers often witness their newly planted crops being destroyed by the wind erosion. Africa is currently losing 4 million hectares of forest every year. For this reason, it has more than 700 million hectares of degraded land viable for restoration by bringing degraded land back to life. Farmers do not have to clear additional forest land to turn it into cropland for Africa's rising population and growing food demands. Restoring degraded land back to productive good health is a huge opportunity for Africa. It brings big social and economic benefits to rural farming communities. It helps combat climate change and brings technology to enhance traditional knowledge. One of the main regenerative initiatives which is restoring 5 million hectares of land in Niger, is farm-managed natural regeneration known as F, M and F. M it is a low-cost land restoration technique used to combat poverty and hunger among the poor substance farmers by increasing food and timber production and resilience to climate extremes and increases the productivity. By choosing the right plants and pruning and protecting them in a certain way, farmers can help them grow into trees with a simple set of management practices. Farmers can regenerate and protect existing local vegetation, which has helped to improve the livelihoods of millions. Growing trees and forests in a sustainable way can restore degraded lands, build resilience and help people and societies adapt to climate change. Protecting and enhancing forests are also an essential way to combating climate change. A forest can absorb about 2 billion tons of carbon dioxide annually. If in technique is hugely successful compared to tree planting schemes which have a notoriously low success rate, scarcely 10% of seedlings survive the heat and dust storms of nature, and the surviving ones would be eaten by goats or cut down by people for firewood. First, farmers survey the land and choose among the existing local species the right ones to regenerate. Second, farmers select the few stems that they want to grow while cutting the rest to be used as fodder, mulch or similar then the select systems are prone to halfway of the trunk. Finally, the farmer mocks the regrowing trees and protects them. And at least 25 countries, mainly in Africa, are already using this method. What makes a farm and are so important is the fact that it's using these natural techniques to solve agricultural issues instead of favoring more quick alternatives that use harmful chemicals a technique that Tony renowned to learn from a young age brings more destruction. Growing up in the agricultural region of the Ovens Valley in northern Victoria. Instead of reaching for short-term quick rewards with chemical pesticide use, that ultimately causes more destruction in the long run. In recent years, the UN, the EU and the charity Oxfam have all been financially supporting the practice of F and in Niger. And in July 20th, 20th, Niger became one of the first countries globally to adopt a presidential decree regulating and promoting the practice of FGM. And this increases the adoption of famine by farmers and pastoralists. The results of famine have been astounding. Arable land has almost doubled since the 1980s, creating improved food security and better nutrition for millions of people, increasing household gross incomes by an average of 18 to 24 percent environmental degradation and defecation have also been reversed across some 5 million hectares of land. That wraps up the video, 
I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay notified about our uploads. I'll see you next time, till then peace out.